Hi guys, um, so someone asked me recently um, about using images and putting text over them and when you've got quite a complicated background image such as nature or something and you know the text on top can be quite hard to see. So I'm just going to show you how to quickly make images where the text is a bit more readable using um, a kind of faded overlay on top of the picture. So this can all be done using the completely free tool PicMonkey. So just search for PicMonkey in Google. It comes up as a top link, so click on that. It's totally free. Um, you just have to make an account. Um, there's no cash involved in this whatsoever. Just make an account as if you were signing up for social media. Um, and then you've got these four options here. And I'm going to go straight to the image option. So it's now wanting me to take uh, get some images. So let me find an image that's got quite a complicated background that would be hard to put text over. Um, I've got some nature pictures here, I think. Yeah, let's have a go. So, this one looks pretty awesome because it's all different. It's not very dark or very light. So if I try to just put text over this as it was, I don't know, let's make some silly phrase up. A flower is <laughs> like life. All right. um, and then if you put this over, you can see that when that, you can imagine that at a much smaller size because it would be going out onto your social media. It would be, it's not exactly really easy to read. You could try making the text white using the colour thingy here. Again, it's not that easy to read because the background is all mixtures of greens, um, greens and pinks. Um, so I'm going to show you how to. Oopsie! <laughs> I just hit duplicate text and then delete. My computer's been silly today. All right, delete text. So. If you have got images like this kind of thing, that every time you write text over them, it's not brilliantly easy to read, this is what you need to do. Now, how to do it in PicMonkey is that you go to this butterfly image here, which is where all the overlays are. So overlays are anything from shapes to cute little things you can add on. You can see there's a whole crazy list of amazing things you can do. So go to geometric because we just want a, a basic oblong. Don't worry about the colour for now. And you can just make this whatever size you want. So stretch it out over your image. As you want it. Actually this picture is quite wide so I'm actually going to crop the picture as well. We don't need this whole damn wide picture involved. It's a nice square one, it's good. <clears throat> so here's our nice picture. Obviously you can't see anything at the moment because it's all black. But when you um, right click on it, it will bring up the colour editor. So you can see here, you can pick the colour. And you can see here there's a fade option. So if you fade it out, you see there it's kind of like a dark. But you can also change the colour of this. So let's imagine if we made it really pink to go with the flower. That's still quite bright, so I'm going to fade it down even more. And I'm going to move it down a little bit as well. So it's, it's capturing that flower there. And then what you can do now is you can then add your text over the top. Now the best thing to do when you're writing these kind of things is to not use the really fancy fonts because they're really hard to read. It's best to stick to what are called sans serif fonts which are the ones that are quite modern and they don't have all the little curly ends or anything on them. So you see these ones would be very difficult to read. So try and make it easy. If you're sending these out on social media as a meme you don't really want to be using crazy fonts that people aren't going to be able to read when that image is tiny on their screen. So go for something quite Funky, I like to use, I mean, quicksand is good, impact is good, didactic gothic is good. I use all of these. So, I don't know, blossom into life. Let's just make something there and make it bigger. You can pull this 
box across so it, the text fits in, fits into it better. And then I think this would look nice with white. So you can see that's much easier to read because we've we've kind of like blanderized the background a little bit, but you can still see the picture. And if you're not happy with it, just play around with it. Change the fade, change what percentage of fade you want, um, and change the colors. So you can have all sorts going on here. So that looks quite nice, nice green. So that looks good as well. And then all you need to do is save it. Um, if, you're, if this is for Facebook, I would change the dimensions here. I normally make my Facebook pictures 500 by 500. Uh, oh, yeah, it's slightly able. Um, and I also try to save it as a as a Sean, because <laughs> the quality is just a little bit crisper. And then I'll save it to my computer. And then just stick it wherever you want. I'm going to put it somewhere where I'll never see it again, because <laughs> I'm not going to use it. So name it as well, Blossom Pick, <laughs> and then you can upload that at your leisure, and I'll show you what it looks like in my actual computer. Oh, there it is. There. So using this kind of like shaped overlay is a really handy tool because it just makes when you add text onto more complicated background imagery, it just makes it so much clearer. Um, you can also change the shape, you know, there's different shapes. So if you went back to the butterfly and it's got all these different ones here, so you could do something quite funky if you wanted to, crazy triangles and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, so have a play with that. It's really simple and it's just three things. You're just going to add your image, add an overlay shape using the butterfly here, and then changing the colours, which the overlay editor pops up whenever you click on that anyway. And you're just going to mess with the colour and the fade. That's what you need to do. And then add your text over the top by going to the text button here. And that's it. And then just save it. And then you can use it. It's going to be awesome. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Um, remember to come and find me on Twitter and YouTube. It's my name, starkashara.com and at Starkashara, and I'm Starkashara and everything. I use my real name for everything, so you can easily find me. And uh, I look forward to hanging out with you. Take it easy.